What is that on my phone? Okay, they're not scratches. That's good. I'm like just really tired all of a sudden. So I like want to sleep, but you know. See, I, so yesterday I talked about that driving instructor I went with. So yeah, I don't gotta talk about that again. Oh my god, I really fucking tore. Flex it down. Boom. So. April, like, really fucking crept up on me. Like, it's already past the middle of April. Which means. Semester's almost done. Not even. Where am I? Okay, this is not right. Not even a month left. Um, barely a half a month for like most of those classes, probably. Um, My bad. Like, my race, second ever race, is on Sunday. Um, today's Thursday. Shit. So I got two more free days. Tomorrow, physical therapy, and you know, I'll kind of just do what I can. But you know, it's a lot of the same thing as last time. I didn't get too much pre uh, prep for um in this race, but is what it is. <sighs> Favorite thing of the day, girlfriend. Uh, one thing I'm grateful for. You know, the one thing I'm grateful for thing, it made sense to do in like the beginning of the series, but now like, I really have to, like, think about what I'm grateful for. And I am grateful for all these things. Everything in my room, probably, I'm grateful for. And, you know, everything I take part of, like, sidewalks. Yeah, that's one thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for sidewalks. You know, when I'm running, I'd rather run on a sidewalk than in the middle of the road. You know, uh, not everywhere has it. But, I mean, yeah, sidewalks are really good. You know, if there's, if it's raining... You know, it's probably gonna be raining on the road, probably not on the sidewalk. So, you know, sidewalks just convenient, good, and yeah. Yeah, like when I'm walk, I can't say the word, but like some inactivity I do with my dog, because she knows what it means, so. Um, like a few times ago, she was just like trying to like pull out like to the side for whatever reason, like, go into the road. It's fucking cars coming by so i definitely like it if there were sidewalks just so i don't gotta worry about that aspect but you know neighborhoods are neighborhoods and you know not all of them have sidewalks so yeah what do you even have today it's just been tiring i didn't even do what i wanted to do it's so fucking annoying because i set out to like busy myself and then what i say for last is my English assignment and I'm too busy working on the things that I have to maintain throughout the week that I don't get to fucking work on the English essay at all you know all I like if I could really like put my foot on it and like start it then it'd be like a lot easier I'm still like early off into it you know and again like like I said April crept up on me Motherfucking, it's, it's due, um, the 29th, which is a Monday, like, yeah, a Monday, so, yeah, we're not gonna go to the gym on this Saturday, because, you know, we've got the race coming up, so, 
yeah but one of these one of these days like because I, I don't have much time it might be like next week I might do like another week off or something um you know like for the final stretch you know or at least because there's gonna be a few final stretches like there's my English final stretch and then there's gonna be like my history final stretch so I mean I don't know but I think I might need like a week like maybe five days you know where I can just do that you know I still have been putting my girlfriend aside and all that you know more often ever since I took that other week off you know I feel more comfortable you know like saying I'll talk to you tonight instead of like you know getting caught up so that's one thing I've kept doing like I did it today did it yesterday you know um and I'm glad because it needs to be done uh, but yeah again I I was speaking about this like not too long ago it just doesn't feel like I'm doing anything even though I'm doing stuff because at the end of the day all the work that I did today was for maintenance you know uh, I needed to read what I read and do the paper that I did uh, and I turned that paper in today and I missed an assignment yesterday so I need to get done you know like I'm not really knocking shit out early you know, like, it just keeps coming back, which, you know. So, you know, I am signed up for summer classes, but, like, damn, do I feel like I just need to, like, chill out for a little bit. Unlike fucking college work. You know, everything else can keep going. You know? Um, and because I want to do those things. You know, like, running might not feel the greatest. I might be like, oh, I have to run today. I have to get out of the house. But, uh, it directly uh leads to like my improvement and all that homework doesn't necessarily it depends on how you view things i view personal development view it as personal development and leading towards a degree is not developing you as a person that's just a thing to have it depends on how you go about it whether that changes you as a person or you know anything about you I feel like I had something I want to talk about. Yeah, I really feel like I had something to talk about. Um, I can't think of it now. Oh, um... So my friend might come to my race, but at least my grandma is going to be at my race. My last race, March 30th, nobody was there. Because it was like local, you know, like I kind of just went on my own. Um, but yeah, now it's a few towns away. And yeah, I was thinking I was going to link my, because I have like a little fundraising page. You know, I think I thought I'd do it because I did it on my social medias and it was like people making fun of me which is like make fun of me all you want but like you weren't at the other race that was literally like a few towns around you it was like you know um nor are you really putting yourself in the position that i am and doing the same thing or you know like doing a race that's not exactly local like i just i kind of searched for it you know it's just like annoying and I'm so tempted to just kind of like block people that I know aren't gonna contribute to my not block but like unfriend them people who aren't gonna contribute to my success and I did that somewhat recently but that was more like people who I've added that I don't even talk to nor am I ever going to again I saw like a ton of people added that like I don't talk to but like could or like we did and we were like pretty cool at one point but like honestly bro like i'm kind of sick of that like i don't know like i just don't care about friends like social like on social media and shit like it's just annoying to me um but yeah
my friend, um, so he was going to a state college in the state, um, Connecticut. So he's going to one of the state colleges. His family has a background of like lawyers, right? But yeah, I went to public school with him and I mean, he was like in a few APA classes or no AP classes, I mean, but like you could kind of tell that he probably wasn't like the greatest student, you know? Um, so yeah, he dropped or he transferred to the community college that I'm in. And now he's saying he just doesn't want to do college at all. And that he's thinking of going to a trade school. I'm just glad I'm not like him, I guess. You know, it's a shame. I had like a really good time with him in high school. Like we had a lot of fun, but like, I mean, I guess just seeing an example like that, like I kind of grew up with this kid. I might not talk to him the whole time I grew up with him. Um, or, you know, like went to school with him rather. But like towards the end of our, our high school years, yeah, I did. And, you know, while he probably had the better start when I think of where I was before I was now, like he, sure, better than me then. I mean, it's not like it was that hard, but it's like, because I've done all this sculpting and refining, I'm not like him, you know? And I'm not like just looking down on him because he's him, you know, I like him. I'm looking down on just like, cause I would just, I mean, it's like, come on. Like if that's not what you want to do, fine. But like, it's, it's cause of the workload. I know that's why he's doing it. Um, you know, I, I look at the situation, not for the person. You know, I tend to, to do that, I guess. You know, sometimes I might be like, it's fine. Like, d sometimes it depends on the person. Like, with my girlfriend and my friends, it might be a bit different. Like, my friend Elle, when she'll be complaining about shit, it's like, you're being a bitch. And me and A over here know damn well. But like, it ain't that deep. It ain't affecting me. Like, do you? I'm not dealing with that. You know? And she's like, can you just do the work for me? Because we're like in the same class. She said that today. Can you just like do the work for me? Because I did the work and she's like behind on like everything. Like all her classes. I'm like, you know, I would because it wouldn't be that big deal. But I'm like. When I think of like progressing, that doesn't help me be a better person at all. So, you know, it's something that back in high school, my my friend did. Well, at least like I remember one time in particular, you know, like I really just like wanted to copy off him, you know, and he was just like, no, I got, like we were, I was really cool with him and I didn't take any offense to him doing that because I understood completely what he, he meant to do by that. It's like, if you can't handle it and do it on your own, then you're going to keep being that way and you're never going to get over that. That's at least how I took it. So I'm kind of viewing how I interacted with L today in the same kind of way. Like, especially if I'm not getting anything out of it. Like I'm, I'm all out there for myself, you know, like if I'm being paid a good amount, at least an amount where it's like, you know, fine, it's worth doing. Or, you know, again, if I'm like improving my grades in some way or, you know, myself in some way, sure. But like in that, like, just no, like. Again, unless you're like offering like money. She was like, I'll give you $5. I was like, I'm poor or no, I'm broke, but I'm not that that broke. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Just that, you know. I already talked about like some of what that was, you know. And like, probably like yesterday maybe. I don't know. I'm just tired. I don't want to go to bed. So, I think that's everything. Oh wait, no, I was gonna like kind of speak about it. 
See, my friend might be there, like my best friend. It'd be cool um, if he did, you know, because I ain't seen him in a minute. Um, and my grandma's going to be there. My dad said he might. And he said he'd, like, run, like, a little bit with me because, like, he wouldn't be able to do, like, the whole 5K. But he said, like, he'd run a little bit. I was like, I don't think they'd let you because, like, sign-up's already over. And he was like, well, I'll just, like, hop over. And, you know, like, they wouldn't notice. And they wouldn't. But I hope, I mean, I wouldn't try and slow my pace for him. Um, I would just hope to make him proud. Like, I wouldn't really care about running with him. I would just hope that by the end of it, I made him proud in some way. You know? I guess it's just like a father or something for me. Because I thought about it earlier. I was like, do I really care about making my grandma proud? Not like the same way. Definitely not. Because I understand my dad was in my footsteps at one point in time, you know, like, at least age-wise and as a man, he was in my footsteps. Um, and I know that he doesn't, it's not that he expects a lot from me, but, like, he didn't always make the best choice when he was my age. So, it, it's not even about, like, the choice he made. I just hope that, like, however I finish the race, um, he's happy about it, you know? Again, I, I don't really feel that same with my grandma. I guess it's just because from one, from father to son, it, it's a bit different. At least that's how I take it. You know, I, I wouldn't really care about making anyone else proud except for my dad. Because again, I can empathize with him a bit more. And, you know, that's how I would hope that I would be if I had a kid. Even though, you know, I, I might not know my dad the most. You know, like, he was over today, but he's not over often. Um... Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna put the fundraising thingy. I mean, feel free to, you know, like if not, it doesn't like affect anything. You know, I'll just like feel bad because like I put like a fundraising goal of, like forty dollars, and then like if I went empty handed, it, it'd probably be like a sham. But yeah, it's like for like migraine research. It, it's kind of a weird cause, you know, like the money's gonna go like some institutions that research it like one of them was like yale research my dad wants to go out um but yeah i mean just know it wouldn't be going to me and uh, yeah she's being a bitch so i'm gonna find something to throw out real quick you know i'll, I'll throw some out when i get back because like damn go on <laughs> I just like looked in my closet and this is like folded in like the corner. This is like an Oral B fucking string bag. I didn't even know this existed. So it's getting thrown out because I don't have a single use for this. So I'm gonna head out now. Um peace.